In this problem, we're looking at a more complicated propeller system and calculating the moment of inertia for it. And this one is a three-bladed propeller, and it's got a, a spinner in the middle, and then it has three blades. Well, that can be modeled as a solid disk spinning about its middle. So that's going to have a moment of inertia that goes as mr squared over 2. And then these can be modeled as three different rods. They're going to have ml squared over 3. And I'll put B for the blade and S for the spinner, um, radius of the spinner, length of the blades, right? And so you can put together what the total moment of inertia is for this object based on the information you're given, right? So we've got the spinner, three blades. Um, we've got the mass of the spinner. So mass of the spinner is roughly, I'm just going to put, put six kilos. We've got, um, the mass of the blades, right? Each blade is 2.5 kilos, we'll call it. So each blade is 2.5 kilos. The radius of the spinner, R is just 0. Point, oh, wait, nope, we want this in kilograms centimeter squared. So I'm going to leave this in centimeters. This is two centimeters. The um, moment of inertia of the three blades, prop, okay. The blades, the length of the blades are um, 59 centimeters. So we've got the masses, we've got the lengths. All we have to do is put it all together. So the total moment of inertia is going to be mass of the spinner, radius of the spinner squared over 2 plus. And then you have to add in each blade, right? So mass of a blade, length of a blade squared over 3, and I'm just going to take that whole thing and multiply by 3 because we've got three of them and they just add. And so this is your moment of inertia that you're after. I, and I did this problem in um, kilogram centimeter squared. The SI units would be kilograms meter squared, but you'll see in the industry, um, you'll see very often this moment of inertia um, calculated and left in kilograms centimeter squared. So we're solving this problem in kilograms centimeter squared. And if you get this correct, you're going to be somewhere in the range of 5,000 to 6,000, I think is where I set this up to come out as. Um, you're going to be somewhere in the range of 5,000 to 6,000 kilograms centimeter squared. And that's how you go at this problem.